I think it's not unusual for a lot of chief executives in the states to do something like what you do. From going from a meeting to a press conference to a bill signing to another meeting, I, I can understand why being a governor is kind of a great job compared to what I know like what a senator's life is like. If you can't even compare the legislative body to the executive. I right. mean, um, so um, that's why this job prepares you to be president. Right. Yeah. More than any other job. Yeah. You know, you've been. Uh, everybody talks about whether you're going to run again in 2020. You've said, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Who knows what the future holds? But you've also left to open one, sure. the possibility sure. of running as an independent, possibility of running as a Republican. I'm hey. not going to spend my time, John, wasting my time at an endeavor that I don't think is, is a good endeavor, whether it is in politics or something But else. this is my question. So if the President of the United States was acceptable to you, was doing a good job, you thought he was good for no, the country. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be thinking about you it. You wouldn't be thinking no, about it, right? right? That's correct. So, so what? So, because I, I don't think he's doing a great job. I so think I don't heart, think it's good. Yeah. So that's my question. Like, what is it about the way in which he's governing? Divisions. It's it's, it's, it's creating divisions. It's a, it's a series of things. And I had been hoping. Now he's done some things that are really good, and I'm the first one to praise him. Not the first one, but I'm out there praising him for some of the things that he does. But no, I don't think he's doing a great job. I haven't signed on. I'm more concerned about the country. I saw something the other day where the party thought that the media was the enemy of the people as opposed to a positive force. I read that and that's kind of like, what, are you kidding me? That's just ridiculous, okay? I think about that more than I think about, you know, Trump. I, I, I do think more about that right. and about how we can stop that. So the reason why I stand up for the press is you have to have a referee as it relates to pu public officials, powerful people. The press's job is to be an arbiter, a referee, a discoverer of truth. And that's why it's so important. And it isn't that way just because I was in it. No, it's I that way because I think, who are we going to believe? If we don't believe the press, we're we going to believe the politicians. I mean, that's like, that was like the craziest thing ever. Yeah. So, so what has been the effect of Donald Trump on your Republican Party? Actually, I can't figure out exactly what that means. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the Republicans, who are they now? I don't think Republicans are anti-trade, anti-immigrant, don't care about debt. Uh, I, I just, I don't believe that. A lot of people voted for Donald Trump, though, who seemed to, who seemed to. Well, I'm, those but it might be, views. it might be a point in time. Yeah. It might be a certain stupor that we might wake up one day and go, was that me? You know. Because, see, to me, it's not rational, you know, and we've seen this coming over a long period of time. I believe that Donald Trump is a manifestation of where this country was headed. Right. And he didn't create this. He just, he has now filled something that doesn't surprise me that the country's here. Very disturbing, though, because what we have is two poles. We got people. They're out here, they only absorb that that they agree with, and if there's something that they see that doesn't agree with their view, they just dismiss it. But I happen to believe there's a giant ocean of people that's in the middle. Right. And I've concluded that if you're on the polls, right or left, and the left is just as bad as the right, I'll come back for you later, but I don't have time now for you. Because I gotta spend my time building a network of people who wanna be rational, objective and seek the truth. Right. That's what that's my mission and my goal now for our country.